This morning, authorities in California are also including more than 100 National Guard members as they are searching for five-year-old Kyle Doan. He was clinging to his mother before he was swept away as those floodwaters overwhelmed their SUV on the way to school. His mother is speaking out, and it's heart-wrenching. I want to switch places with Kyle. I don't want to be here. I want Kyle to be here. I wish Kyle was the one that was rescued. Camilla Bernal is live for CNN this morning in California. Uh, we're also hearing from Kyle's father. I know the family is obviously struggling with this as they are having these search efforts underway. What are you hearing? Hey, Caitlin, the father telling me that he's in shock, that this is so difficult to process, but that they will search until they find Kyle. That search is incredibly difficult because they're looking in this creek. You can see and you can hear that the water is still flowing very rapidly. Just a few feet up the creek is that car. You can't see it because it is just so dark. Despite all of these conditions, the family is saying they are not giving up. I just want him back. When the water rose, five-year-old Kyle Doan sounded calm. His father now recounting the boy's last words to his mother. He was telling her, Mommy, don't panic. It's okay. Everything will be okay. But the father says the water ripped Kyle away from his mother's arms on Monday morning. As she was getting him out and trying to hold him, the current was there. It, it, it took him. Her screams heard by nearby residents who did everything they could to help. And then I was able to get a rope to her and get her over to the side, but they couldn't get to my son. Um, the husband that was there saw him. He was floating back. His head was above water. He was looking out. And that was the last time they saw him. Now, shock, denial, and heartbreak. My wife, really, it's hard because she survived the, the, the event and he's not here. And she feels really guilty that she wasn't the one to go down, not him. She did not want to eat. She refused. She said, if I'm my son's out there, I don't want to eat either. A grainy home video from a Christmas past, okay. now a treasured memory. Big one. Big one. He was a good kid. He had lots of friends. Um, he, he liked to help the teacher. I mean, he was a kindergartner. Um, he was doing new experiences. Um, and he's probably like a lot of kids, you know, in your, in your neighborhood. But the family is determined to find Kyle. His older brother, Tyler, searching with the help of friends. And for the first time Wednesday, seeing his mother's car. I'm, I'm just speechless from seeing that um, kind of just a rush of emotions. Um, just a lot going on right now. As he looks for his little brother, he's reminded of the joy he brought to the family. <laughs> he wakes up the whole family every single morning. Um, most of us like to sleep in, um, try to at least, and he's the one who gets us out of our bed every single day. And an entire community searching, hoping, praying. You want to find him, you want him found, but you don't want to be the one to find him. And yeah, you just, it's scary. It's scary, but we just want him found. It's that help and support that the Doan family says is giving them strength. It's been tough. Um, they've been very good. A lot of giving, um, a lot of support, a lot of friends. Trying to balance hope of Kyle's smiling face against the grim reality. It's going to be hard. Um, at some point, it's going to be really hard. And the father telling me that he understands this may be a recovery operation. Nonetheless, that search, Caitlin, resumes when the sun comes up. Yeah, we're keeping them in mind. Camilla Bernal, thank you.